Liberty, Hello. how are you? Yes, very good, thank you. You've decided to build your own tiny house, mm -hmm. but you've got no building experience. No, <laughs> no. Nothing, and we mean nothing. I mean, I've put up a shelf and um, a couple of pieces of flat pack furniture. And you're going to build your own house? Yeah, I feel like it can't be that hard. Liberty's plan for her tiny home will have a living space at one end, a kitchenette in the middle, and then at the other, a bathroom complete with shower. Her bedroom will be a cosy space tucked up in a mezzanine. Liberty's rented some land for the build, but since it'll be on wheels and off grid, she'll be able to move it wherever she likes. First part, sort of the floor and, and getting the trailer ready took me a long time, a good couple months, because I'd barely even held a drill before, let alone laid a floor, put insulation in. Next steps will be putting the loft joists up and the roof rafters, which means that the frame will be completed. Five weeks later, the internal walls are up. The following month, Liberty's tiny house has come on leaps and bounds. Most of the internal walls are now insulated, so Liberty can move onto the stairs. So my treads I've made from cladding boards. Um, the cladding I've got on the outside, I've just sanded the boards down and then oiled them. So um, it's just using leftovers, really, which is pretty cool. It's a big day, you know. It's been like a whole year of, of leading up to this moment where we, you know, get everything finished, we get it moving on the road, scaffolding down. So, yeah, it's a huge moment. A Liberty's project was all about finding an alternative to the conventional property ladder. She wanted to create something compact, practical, but most importantly, a home. But there was one big problem. She'd never, ever built anything before, but she wasn't going to let that stop her. I'm back to see how she's done. Liberty. Hello. How are you? Yes, good, thank you. How are you? Look at your beautiful tiny house. I know, I know. You've done so well. Thank you. Despite having zero experience, Liberty has managed to build an idyllic off-grid tiny abode. Are you pleased with it? I'm super chuffed with it. Yeah, yeah, it's really come together. It does just make you smile, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it really does. Oh, Liberty, it's beautiful. Looking around, I can hardly believe that Liberty has never done anything like this before. It's like a chic Scandinavian TARDIS. And look at that wardrobe space inside your staircase. I've only got five steps, including the floor at the top. And it's like having more of a series of cupboards you can climb up rather than a staircase because you have so much space in between. Upstairs, Liberty has created a beautifully cosy yet bright and airy mezzanine bedroom with a gently curved vaulted ceiling. I thought it was nice to just round it and keep it nice and cosy up there. And it's absolutely beautiful, that. As mezzanine bedrooms go, it doesn't get any better than that. Thank you. But the big question is, has Liberty's tiny home given her a big sense of pride? Well, I think the first thing I have to say is congratulations on your new home. Thank you, thank you. You must be chuffed to bits. Super proud, yeah. I tell everyone. I'm like, come and see it, just come and see it. <laughs> you won't believe it. Yeah. I built it and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Well, you should be proud because it's brilliant. I'm kind of surprised that it all worked out okay. <laughs> <laughs>